Hello there, so welcome to part three in my NHS dental banding system series. Uh, it's been in the news a lot lately, uh, patients struggling to find an NHS dentist, dentists going increasingly private, and you might well be a patient who has now had to seek private dental care and you've been quoted a figure that's quite different to what you're previously accustomed to on the NHS. Well, in this video, we're going to look at two courses of treatment and explain how they differ if provided on the NHS as a band three or on a private basis. Hi guys, Dr. Raggy here at Your Dentist Says. Before we get into today's video, do subscribe to the channel. It means more than you know. And don't forget to like it uh, and uh, share it with friends as well. Just a bit of background, as I have had a bit of stick on some previous videos, uh, I am now a fully private dental practitioner. However, I did serve time on the NHS for five years. And when I say serve time, it's not a joke to say that many dentists uh, remark that they feel imprisoned within the NHS dental banding system. And that's why they leave, simply because they want to be treated fairly like a decent human being. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why so many dentists have left the NHS or are planning to leave very soon. So what is a band three? So it's quite confusing actually for patients and dentists alike, but I've uh, covered it in a summary and, and, and you can find that in the link uh, in the description. But essentially it's anything that goes to the lab, such as a crown, a bridge or a denture. But what's uh, really weird is that the NHS dental system is a cumulative system. By that we mean uh, if you need a couple of fillings or if you need five extractions, you are still in the band three category. And so in this video, we're gonna look at two private courses of dentures and how they work out if performed on the NHS or, or if performed on a private basis. So case one, we had a, a failing um, lower front tooth and this patient had active gum disease. So we plan to remove the failing uh, tooth, carry out some gum treatment and some oral hygiene instruction and provide a new lower partial denture. So nothing fancy here, uh, and this would all come under uh, an NHS band three. That would be £282.20, I believe, uh, presently as it stands. And that would cover your examination, some more hygiene instruction, some gum treatment, the extraction, so the removal of that tooth, as well as the partial denture. You might think, cool, blimey, a few of those band threes and your dentist is quids in. Uh, well, it doesn't work like that and I'm actually gonna show you exactly uh, the breakdown of cost. As mentioned previously, your dentist gets paid by UDAs or units of dental activity. The money that you pay, that goes back to the government and the, the dentist and the practice uh, will get paid by their UDA system. So a band three NHS dental charge uh, equates to 12 UDAs. So if the practice has a UDA rate of 30, and it's often much less than this, then they will earn 360 pound for that course of treatment. From there, using that money, the practice will have to pay for the dentist, they will pay for the nurse, for the receptionist, for all the materials uh, involved, and 50% of the lab fee, that's the, the lab that will actually make the denture. The dentist, if they're on a £10 a UDA, will get £120 for all their graft. Out of that, they will typically pay 50% of the lab fee, so the practice will pay the other half. That would mean, say if the denture costs £120, the dentist will pay £60 and the practice will pay £60. This thus leaves the dentist with £60 for all their work. Let's say all this treatment was done uh, reasonably quickly within the space of one hour and 15 minutes. That would equate to the dentist being on an hourly rate of £48. Now, as far as NHS Band 3 goes, uh, that's a pretty reasonably good outcome for your dentist. Now, let's flip that privately on a basic value range scheme. All that treatment would amount to £850. Now again, that won't all go typically to your dentist. They will be on a 50% split or less with their practice, such as they would take home 425 pound. Out of that, they will pay the lab fee, 50% of it again, such that that might be 160 because they're using a fancier lab. This would mean 
that uh, if they took two and a half hours to do all the treatment, they would be on an hourly rate of £138 an hour, which is obviously three times more than what, than what they earn on the NHS. But it's more than money for your dentist. They can actually do the dentistry that they want to do. We can spend a lot more time with you. We can treat you like a human. We can use a lab that actually makes teeth look like teeth and we can have proper discussions about uh, various dental treatments beyond NHS dentistry such as dental implants and uh, essentially um, the results are obviously more predictable, the, the patient outcomes are better and everyone wins. Let's look at another case to illustrate this further. So here we had a patient with uh, failing upper and lower teeth due to periodontal disease and as such we had to remove uh, multiple teeth, we had to carry out gum treatment and we provided upper and lower partial dentures. Once again on the NHS if this was all provided under one course of treatment you would just pay £282.20 presently and that would cover everything including your examination right down to your dentures as well. Now let's say all this treatment was done within three hours, that would mean that your dentist under the NHS would earn £120, that's if they're on a UDA rate of £10 per UDA, but as it's a much bigger course of treatment and there's multiple teeth to remove and there's upper and lower dentures to provide, uh, that would mean your dentist is far worse off let's say the lab fee for these upper and lower dentures was 250 pound that would mean that your dentist would pay 125 pound now as i've just mentioned all they're getting is 120 pound to do all of that work uh, so if they did pay 125 pound that would mean that they're minus five pound for three hours work can you believe that no i'll repeat that again for three hours work your dentist is in the red and they are minus five pounds. So they're basically paying out of their own pocket to uh, look after a patient in this situation. The practice itself doesn't fare much better, of course, so that they're earning uh, the same amount as well. And it's just unsustainable. Obviously you've got this huge uh, eye-watering inflation at the moment and your dentist uh, and the practice uh, are gripped by this as well. So the dentist has obviously got all their own bills and everything else to pay and your practice has got to fork out money for the nurses, for the electricity bills, for the gas and everything else. So as you can imagine, it's just unsustainable. Now let's put all of this on a private course of treatment. Now I'm not gonna do the maths here, but can you see why there's this mass exodus from NHS dentistry? Um, your dentist just gets paid fairly to do the work that they want to do, and the practice actually gets paid fairly, and so, it's a no-brainer really if you can leave the NHS and actually work within a system that treats you properly of course you're gonna leave and that's exactly what a lot of dentists are now doing so some heavy figures there but I just wanted to finish with a different analogy now suppose you've got your plumber in and you've taken them to the downstairs toilet and you say I want you to put a new sink in and then you take them upstairs as well and you say actually in the family bathroom I want you to put a new shower in and some new tiles and in the ensuite I want you to put a new shower in as well but I'm only going to pay you for the downstairs toilet. They would literally tell you to do one but that's what you've been asking your NHS dentist to do all these years. Literally work for free in many instances and many of us have just had enough and so uh, that's why they're going fully private because they want to be treated fairly. Um, and just like any other profession, um, isn't that reasonable? I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, do comment in the section below and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.